国团队，韩国团队，韩国团队。Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Plus token will be right back. Plus token, new B, new B, new B. Oh man, this is brutal. Today we're going to take a look at the biggest Ponzi scheme in China, which is Plus Token. It left with more than seventy thousand Bitcoin, not seventy thousand dollars, seventy thousand Bitcoin. Which is around seven hundred million dollars, U.S. dollars worth of Bitcoin just taken by these guys. And now, the scary part is that's entering some cryptocurrency exchanges. Initially, I didn't really believe this. I was like, "How can they scam this much money?" We really started piecing together the evidence, and we have evidence and footage from offline events, these big conferences held by Plus Token. Plus token influencers. We have shots of people teaching each other how to use the Plus token wallet and enter the scheme. It got crazier and crazier. So I really want to explore this topic with you guys here. We really want to take a look at how did Plus token operate? How did it scam so many people so much money whilst remaining mostly under the radar? And then also, what is happening to the people now? Are there arrests? What's happening to the funds? If you guys want to find out more about Plus Token, I have an article about all the addresses so you can track it for yourself and see what's happening. And then I also have the details of who's arrested and whatnot on my website boxmining.com. I'll put a link that down below. And also, if you guys like more videos exposing these scams and what's really happening in the China scene, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. So, Plus Token. So what you saw there, that's the Korean meetup, and that should give you an idea of the audience that this type of scam targets. Generally, they're not very crypto savvy. They may be a little bit older, but they have a lot of money, which is really important because that is a dangerous combination. Lots of money. But no idea what's really going on. We're gonna take a look at how they managed to pull this off, the strategies they used, and how they kind of got away with a lot of what they're doing like, under the radar. So typically, something like this starts off with a group of masterminds. I'm gonna draw them as an angry devil face here. I know my drawing is terrible, but <laughs> bear with me. So these guys, they know exactly what's going on. They also, I mean, they even planned out. A pay-to-script hash multi-signature wallet. So in a case that one of them gets caught, well, the police can't seize the entire amount of funds. That's how planned, premeditated this is. Now, to plus token, I I always think about this like Apple and Microsoft, okay? Because how、uh, plus token is similar to Steve Jobs, right? You- this group typically what they do. Is they start soliciting outside and generally to an audience that's not very well versed in crypto, and it starts off in Korea slash China. So probably both sides they contributed to making this happen. Now, the initial group won't be too large. So this will be on WeChat, it will be on Line, the two main communication groups, and typically maybe they'll have groups of a hundred or so people. That's the strategy here. They don't want too big. They want to have very much a one-to-one interaction. They want a controlled environment, and they'll teach these people that oh, how to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and how to send it to their wallet. And they'll start telling them, hey, you know what? Just invest in this. You'll get X amount, maybe five percent per month, ten percent per month if you invest more. And that's when greed overtakes people, and they jump in. So they give a bunch of reasons for why this works. Like, oh, there's an STO platform soon. This is going to be the biggest STO platform. There's also going to be a lot of adoption. You can look at this video here. There's a guy saying that this is going to be a the Plus Token is going to be adopted in supermarkets. My child, they 用上 Plus 了，你看流不流 ？I mean, obviously it's fake, and、uh, this guy probably just bought a placard, filmed it. The problem is that some people do believe this, despite how fake looking it is. Now, this group of people, they themselves, they're gonna start once they know how to do things. They start becoming 
group leaders. They're going to start their own groups and invite other people on. So this is how this whole pyramid actually works because more and more people gets invited and they get part become part of these small groups. Now, something interesting is that they typically keep these groups away from each other. So that way the communication if there's actual problems, if there's dissent in the group, if there's people saying this is a scam, they can squash that, call it, claim it's fud and squash that quickly without too many people discovering the truth. But that's how this works. You got layer one, then this works here, then you got layer two inviting even more people. And what happens is that when more people invite it, they obviously invest, and that investment goes to the people above them. So that's why it's a very typical Ponzi scheme. The people who do get invited, the people who invest, they feel like that they're investing to something amazing, that they're going to change the world. But actually, that money is just being fed up and up and up to tears until you have these giant Bitcoin accounts with 5,000 Bitcoin. And you guys know this can't last forever. Eventually, you'll run out of people and you can't pay the top layers anymore and the whole Ponzi scheme collapses. Everything is good and I'm getting scared to celebrate my mom's birthday with all my family. My partner Kai told me that in China have a lot of rumors about our project, about the plus token. But let me tell you pretty clearly, our project, the plus token, this is a decentralized digital currency plus. And we focus on making a great content for our users to focus on uh, technical research and development and we focused on making a great project. This, this guy just feels like the Carlos Matos of this. Just throw a bunch of words like decentralization, building. So in terms of payments, payments stopped on June the 30th of this year. So all of a sudden, uh, people started realizing, oh my God, withdrawals took more than 30 hours. Usually it took a lot less than that. And people start complaining on Chinese social media like Weibo and groups started getting formed. Now, initially, they kind of pulled something shady. They just blamed mining rewards. They're like, oh, we didn't pay enough transaction fees, so oh, there's a delay. And unfortunately, of course, people never really got payments after that. Now, the funny thing, the crazy thing is there are still a lot of people who are believing that, that payments will resume. Hi, I'm Zi, Hi, big girl. I trust Plus Token team. I believe Plus Token will come back. Plus Token number one. Come on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Plus Token will be right back. Plus Token newbie, newbie, newbie. Now, if you really take a look at this, I, I saw this as like, this is crazy, but on one of the transactions from Plus Token, known Plus Token addresses, was a comment. So someone added a comment on a transaction and it said, sorry, we have run. So that's pretty clear that these guys, the original perpetrators, they're making a break for it and they're running. Luckily for us though, it's not all sad because six of the original scammers, they tried to flee to Vanatu, but they were arrested by police, extradited and sent back to China for trial. But unfortunately, even after these arrests, funds were still moving. And if you look at this, there's actually two groups that are tracking for this right now. So Peck Shield and Token Analysis, they're tracking movements of these funds and they're still moving right now. So that shows that some of the original perpetrators, the original really high ups are still at large. So overall, what's happening now is that funds are still at large. You can see this list and I made a list here on the website. You can track the large accounts that have more than 5,000 Bitcoin. So that's already quite crazy. Now, these large accounts, they're being kind of scattered. So what, they're, what these guys are trying to do is send it to smaller and smaller accounts. That way, they can start funneling them into exchanges. So I also want to dispel some of the fear that's spreading around this. Some of the initial reports reported up to $3 billion with the potential of all being dumped onto exchanges immediately, which I don't think is actually going to happen. 
So first of all, I think realistically from what I saw in terms of the tracked accounts, then we have around 70,000 Bitcoin, around quite a huge chunk of Ethereum and EOS addresses here. So let's say realistically, maybe 1 billion US dollars. Now, this fund is not going to immediately go into exchanges. Now that everyone is watching, they're going to be very stealthy. That's how these kind of mines work. They're not going to be in a hurry because if they're in a hurry, they're all going to get caught like all their kind of lower associates. These masterminds, unfortunately, they're probably going to keep a lot of it for a while. So this will add up to a bit more long-term damage in the cryptocurrency community overall as these hackers try to catch out and give crypto a bad name. But I really don't see that immediate dump happening because right now if they tried, that's a one-way ticket to the nearest jail. So if you want to read up more about it, I have plenty of sources and I want to thank, give a special thank to Matthew Graham for giving a lot of these video posts and also this Chinese media coverage about what's really happening here. Overall, the lesson here I really think is we got to do our in-depth research. So a lot of the reasons why these plus token victims fell to this scheme, this Ponzi scheme, was because they really believed that the media that was being put out by plus token was real, that this was life changing, that this was going to be an STO platform or some crazy other spin on what's popular in crypto right now. What we really need to do is really research in depth, independently by ourselves. And that's the only real way we can verify. And that's a core, isn't it? I mean, one of the models of Bitcoin is to verify, not trust. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this shined a lot of light into Plus Token. When I was researching this, I was kind of a little bit sad to see this stuff going on. And the worst part is, is that there are more scams that are direct copies of this happening in China. I also really want to hear what you guys think about Plus Token as well. So did you ever fall victim to this, something like this in the past? Have you ever heard of it? Do you know anyone associated that fell into this? I, Really want to know a little bit more and I hope you can share some knowledge to help our whole community grow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button down below right here and also click that notification bell. It really helps you get notified of what's happening and helps my channel grow as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.